My dear students, let me tell you how we are going to study the heteroaromatic ring compounds. In our last videos, we have already introduced ourselves to what, who is called as. You know, right now we know what is a pyrrole. It's a six-membered ring, sorry. It's a five-membered ring containing nitrogen at nitrogen, one nitrogen and aromaticity. We, have, we already know what is a furan. It's a 5 membered ring containing 1 oxygen. And we know about thiophene, which is a 5 membered ring containing 1 sulfur. We know these rings, right? Now, how are we going to move about this detailed study of these three compounds? That is pyrrole, furan, and thiophene. My dear students understand this well that these are your mother components. एक बार अगर हमको ये समझ में आ गया, हमने इसको समझ के apply करना सीख लिया, then there is no challenge left in heteroaromatic rings because आगे के rings जो भी हम पढ़ेंगे, they will be just like we will say it behaves like pyrrol. It does not behave like pyrrol. Or it like it is like furan, it is doing this. Or like thiophene, it is doing this. So what are we going to do? As in as parts of videos, I am going to make videos on each small small segment. But as students, you will arrange them in your notes in a proper way so that if it, it becomes very easy easy to understand. See how. For example, I will be talking about the structure of pyrrol first as my first point. And because पायरोल का स्ट्रक्चर पढ़ने के बाद एक दो ही बातें ऐसी होती हैं जो मेरे को फ्यूरन के स्ट्रक्चर में पढ़नी होती हैं। Then I talk about the structure of furan. जैसे you must have you if you you must have seen my videos on polynuclear aromatic compounds जिसमें मैंने नाफ्थलीन, एंथरसीन और फिनेंथरीन इसी तरीके से पढ़ाया। तीनों का स्ट्रक्चर एक ही लाइन में। Because it's matter of copy pasting. So I will take structure of pyrrol, structure of furan and structure of thiophene. But before this, I would want all my students to go through benzene once again. Why? Because we are talking about heteroaromatic compounds. Sirf hetero hai naya hai. Baki jo bhi aromatic mein humne padha tha, suna tha, wo sab follow honne wala hai. So we should, we should be very well aware of heteroaromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds. Thik hai? Chali baat karte hai. Hum log sabse pehle padha lengi structure. Then we will be seeing the resonating forms for all of them. Then we would see the methods of preparation for all of them. And finally we will see the reactions for all of them. Like for example electrophilic aromatic substitution and nucleophilic aromatic substitution. Jab jab hoga tab tab. Okay? सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट बात जो हमको हेट्रोआरमेटिक रिंग्स में समझनी है वो ये कि हम ये पढ़ने के बाद इनको आपस में कंपेयर करेंगे किसका रिएक्टिविटी ज्यादा किसकी स्टेबिलिटी ज्यादा किसकी बेसिसिटी ज्यादा और वही हमारा सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग रहेगा टुवर्ड्स हेट्रोआरमेटिक रिंग्स आई वुड सजेस्ट माई स्टूडेंट्स टू प्लीज वॉच My video on basicity of amines because ये हमारे बड़े काम आने वाला है। So sim, I, it's it's there in the I button. Please go through the basicity of amines so that आगे in future we have a help of these points in learning heteroaromatic rings. In my next video, I'll be talking about pyrrole and we are going to talk about the structure and you know how your study pattern should be. The comparison part, जो मैं सबसे important लेती हूँ, that will be the most important. It will come when we talk about the reactions of pyrrole, furan and thiophene. ये ये तीन के लिए। उसके बाद जैसे-जैसे हम heteroaromatic rings में आगे बढ़ेंगे, हम हमारा पढ़ने का structure define और design करेंगे और आपके साथ share करेंगे। I hope you are satisfied. You like my teaching methodology. Please share if you like. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.